This week, we're going to focus exclusively on two USDA reports that will be released on Wednesday, March 31st. That's the Prospective Plantings Report, as well as the Grain Stocks Report. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. Well, this week we are going to focus exclusively on Wednesday's USDA reports. Let's take a look at the trade estimates for those reports. There's a whole bunch of numbers here. What we want to do is start out and highlight soybeans. Notice that the average trade estimate for soybeans is 90.1 million acres. Now that's sharply above what the final number was last year at 83.1. Now we're going to focus on the range of estimates. The low end of that range is 88.9 and the high end of that range is 91.3. Now, there's a possibility that the actual number may rise above the top end of that range or it may fall below the bottom end of that range. But here's the critical message. We strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to have your positions in place prior to the release of this report. And we'll show you why in a moment. Now we're gonna focus on the grain stocks report. Remember, there are two reports on Wednesday prospective plantings, and separately, grain stocks. Grain stocks will show the on and off farm inventories of soybeans here in the U.S. as of March 1st. Notice that average estimate is 1.537 billion bushels. Notice that sharply below last year's total of 2255. Now, looking at the range of estimates here of 1.440 to 1.825, that's quite a wide range of estimates. So we'll see how the actual number lines up in relation to that range. Now we're going to once again highlight the trade activity, if you will, in old crop or SK soybean futures and new crop or SX soybean futures on the day those reports are released. Notice particularly in those tight stocks years, you go back to years like 2011, 2012, 2013, quite a bit of volatility, both to the upside and potentially to the downside on the day these reports are released. Not so much the last couple years, and there's no guarantee we will see volatility on Wednesday, uh, but it's certainly a possibility, and that's why you want to be prepared in case it does develop. And here's why. If we do get a sharp move, either to the upside or the downside, trying to catch up, as it were, with that move will be virtually impossible. That's why it's important to have positions in place prior to the report. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800 664 Two, three, two, one. We'll put you in contact with our risk management consultants. We'll be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we usually upload every Wednesday. This time we're uploading a day early to give you time to prepare for the reports. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.